Hi, it's Graham Jacock here. Thanks again for popping in. Now, I just scrolled through these notices in Facebook and it's from the US Open Tennis Championships because I, I like tennis. And it's about a post of what Martina Navratilova, the Czechoslovakian player, said. And this is what she said. The tennis ball doesn't know how old I am. The ball doesn't know if I'm a man or a woman or if I come from a communist country or not. Sport has always broken down these barriers. And I, I looked at that and thought, okay. But then I thought there's a flaw in this. And the flaw is this. Right. Sport does not break down the barriers of percunary issues, that is relating to money. Now, why is money needed? Because you need to fund people like athletes, you need to fund the facilities where these athlete, uh, tennis players play or whatever sport it is, okay? Now, people don't hand over their money just like that, otherwise poverty wouldn't exist. What is key is love. That is the greatest thing that is required. I mean, it is the utmost priority you cannot cheapen it. You cannot get round it. Love is the only answer. But you need a standard for love, right? And if you want, if you're making a claim it's got to break barriers, you have to give access to every child. Now, I want to ask Martina this question. Do you love your enemies? No, this is a serious question. Do you love your enemies? Because enemies have children. These children may be tennis players who are dreaming of becoming known in the field of tennis. Right? Now, Martina has to find a way of loving her enemies. Her, her values in life has to promote the love of your enemies. So I have to ask Martina, do you love your enemies? And I... I'm struggling to believe that she does. She may on the odd day love her enemies or forgive her enemies, but the greatest or biggest enemy in this world, even to those who believe in this person, is Jesus Christ. Because some Christians find it hard to live up to Jesus Christ because they're at the start of their faith, they don't, they don't necessarily understand the dynamics. Now, eh, Martina has rejected Christianity. Now, Christianity is founded on the disciples who spread the message of Jesus Christ, who, who, who was commanded by Jesus to do that, right? And Jesus said, love your enemies. Now, loving your enemies gives a child a tennis racket. That's it. Oh, before I go, 
I remember growing up in the 80s. I was born in 76 and Wimbledon was my my passion. The only sport I really enjoyed, really. And I, I didn't know that there was other tournaments going on because the TV never broadcast them and I was too young to appreciate them anyway. Anyway, uh, I caught the end of Martina's career I, and I always remember imagining that she represented what it meant to be a great athlete. When you looked at her, you saw the sinews in her arms. I always admired that because you, you saw a difference between her and the different players. But I was always, I was always a Becker fan. Anyway, and I always wanted to win Wimbledon. I remember that I dreamed, I dreamed a dream. And I dreamt I won Wimbledon. The left-hander wins Wimbledon. How many times did I dream that? Three times. <laughs> anyway, bye for now.